Friends, it's me, Rashid Ayu, Professor of Mathematics. Today, I will teach you how you can take the derivative of tan inverse x and cot inverse x. These topics are too much important regarding to the different entrance exams. And I've chosen few questions for you from that entrance exams. And I will try to solve these questions for you. Okay, what is the definition? How you can take the derivative of tan inverse x? That is 1 over 1 plus x here and take the derivative what is inside the tan inverse that is x and x belongs to real line. Okay, according to this definition, I will try to solve this expression differentiate tan inverse sin x with respect to sin x. Okay, taking the differentiate 1 plus here is the x square, you can take the sin square x and take the derivative according to the instruction we want to take the derivative with respect to sin x so here will be the sin x and what is inside the tail inverse sin x so it will be become 1 and the required answer is 1 plus sin square x okay now differentiate this expression well, start to the tan inverse x and the variable is x, okay, d over dx. I try to simplify this expression. It can be written as tan pi by 4 minus tan x divided by 1 plus tan pi by 4 into tan of x. Students, tan pi by 4 is 1, is equal to 1. So I can replace 1 by tan pi by 4. And using this formula, tan alpha minus beta is equal to tan alpha minus tan beta divided by 1 plus tan alpha tan beta. I can write this expression into this form. So this expression will become d of dx tan inverse tan alpha minus beta. So if I compare this ex expression by this, what is alpha? Pi by 4. What is beta? x. So it becomes pi by 4 minus x. Now using the composition definition, this tan inverse and this tan will vanish by each other and the remaining quantity will be just pi by 4 minus x. Now you can take the derivative of constant number is 0 and what is the derivative of x with respect to x with this negative sign is minus 1. This is a very important question which has appeared in different exams. Okay. Now we are going to move how you can take the derivative of cot inverse x. The definition is minus 1 over 1 plus x square and take the derivative. What is inside the cot inverse? That is x. And x belongs to real line. These two questions which has appeared in different entrance exams. I try to solve this question. Okay. Cot inverse. That is log of x square minus log of e plus 1. I use the definition of the logarithm. Log x squared minus log e. What is log e? That is 1. So, dot inverse into log of x squared and I can use the definition of log as well. Again, property. This square will be behind of the log according to the property of the log and minus log e is 1 this plus 1 okay this will cancel by each other the remaining term will be cot inverse 2 log of x now you can apply the definition because i want to take the derivative of this expression if this is y then i want to find out the dy over dx okay again d over dx take cot inverse 2 log of x. Now use this definition. 
minus one divided by one plus square of what is inside the quadrant inverse here what is the inside the quadrant inverse two log so take the square of this expression okay and now take the derivative what is inside the quadrant inverse that is two log of x okay this two is a constant quantity it will become outside from the derivative and it become minus two one plus and uh, 2 log of x whole square and what is the derivative of log of x that is 1 over x so this is required expression okay the next question this type of the question has appeared in different entries exams especially for the NUST and UAT and different entrance exams in Indian universities. Okay, I will try to solve this. First of all, I will find out the composition. What is the composition? That is f g of x is equal to f of what is g of x? That is cot of x square. Now find out the fun value of function at cot x square. It become what is f cot inverse so here is the cot inverse and replace x by cot of x k so this is the composition f of g of x it become just x k and we want to find out the derivative f of g of x at 1 okay now Take the derivative of this on this side as well, it will become 2x. Now, according to the required expression, we want to take the derivative at 1. So, d over dx f of g of x at x is equal to 1 will be 2 into 1, that is 2. So these questions are too much important. Hope you like my video. Please like, subscribe and comment and share as well my videos. Thank you very much.